Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. Now I'm going to be talking again about Africa. Uh, The first thing that I want to say is that African leaders are proving time and time again that they cannot be trusted and that they are very, very incredibly wicked people. Now, for those of you who live on the continent who would be offended by me saying this, it is what it is. We often talk about the same things that are happening here in our country among our people as well. No one is off limits when it comes to speaking about how our leaders are uh, just not doing a good job at all handling their business. Now, what I'm talking about right now is uh, the appointment of a Chinese man as a chief in northern Nigeria. A Chinese man as a chief. Now, this isn't the first time something like this has happened, okay? Um, Africans are known for, African leaders are known for making these fool moves like this. Now, in and around the world, I'm going to say this right uh, right up front because some of you are very sensitive when we talk about things, even on the continent, very sensitive, because we don't want to face reality, But in and around the world, black people are showing just how docile and ignorant we are when it comes to the ruling class. These people have done the same things to all of us for centuries. The same things over and over and over. And yet we kowtow to them, not just on the continent, but here in America as well. In other regions of the world as well. Black people kowtow to those who have been their persecutors. They love and adore them. They seek their approval. They want to marry them. They want to be like them. They want to look like them. And I find it amazing how other so-called black people continue to view us as racists for covering these stories. Very sad indeed that we can't even talk about what's happening to us without other black people looking down their noses at us as if we are troublemakers. Now, what I find disturbing about the fact that this Chinese man is being appointed as a chief in Nigeria, I find it disturbing because we, everyone knows, we know that China is taking over the continent. Now, people seem to think that Africa is rising. They say this, but but who's, who's, at the, who's running things? It doesn't matter how high Africa rises if the people of the continent, the indigenous people, are not running the show. It doesn't matter. You can rise to the mountaintops, but if you're not controlling things, what is the point? As long as you have Europeans and Indians and Asians and all of these other races of people running things, owning the majority of the land, only there for their own interests, While the people of the continent continue to suffer and then you have people who are in positions, high positions in Africa, begging those outside of Africa in the diaspora to fund projects within Africa, wanting us to buy a seat at a corrupt table. Had our people so excited here in the diaspora that we're gnawing and clawing at each other. So many people unsubscribed from my channel and got angry at me over my stance on Africa. That is unreal. Unreal. And we are still no closer to Africa than we were before you unsubscribed. They are still no closer to getting you there. But how many actually sent their money there? Now, you all have to learn how to separate what's being talked about here. I have, I have always talked about my love for the people of Africa and even the continent of Africa, but never the leadership. I love my people. I love those who reach out to us, those who we've spoken to directly on the phone, those who keep in touch with us. You know who you are. And I love each and every one of you. I love my people on the continent. But those in leadership are continuing to lead our people astray. 
But what's what's amazing is many of the people on the continent, they know that their leaders are wicked and they speak out against it, too. They speak out against it, too. But I don't appreciate people trying to coax us to Africa, trying to lure us there, knowing good and doggone well they have nothing to offer us unless we are bringing it ourselves. Unless we are bringing it. Don't sell us a dream. I'm looking out for those who want so badly for this to happen and are hoping because of your words that it can happen. But they were being sold a dream that no one on the continent of Africa can ever make a reality. Anything of that magnitude that will ever happen will be because the Most High has intervened, not because people who can't even run the continent themselves, not because they are reaching out to us. How can the people of Africa, the, the leaders of Africa, make any promises to those in the diaspora when you can't even take care of those on the, on the soil in Africa? Our people are suffering there. You're sending, while our people are suffering, you have African leaders sending money to, for the rebuilding of a church that's built with gargoyles all over it. Demons all over the church, but you want to help them rebuild their church. Why not help rebuild some homes for the people of Africa? One African leader, I believe uh, Guinea, sent $2 million <clears throat> to million dollars. Do you know how many housing structures you can build for two million dollars? But you're, you're just wanting to get your name out there to be a part of this demonic building that burned. That shows you how incredibly wicked and backwards African leaders are. They cannot be trusted. Cannot be trusted. Look at what they are doing to their own people. But yet, have the nerve to appoint foreign leaders over their people. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, the storm is about to kick up out here, family. So I think I'm going to head in. I just wanted to talk about this really, really quick. Because... As soon as I saw it, someone sent it to me. I can't remember who sent me the story. I apologize for not remembering your name. Thank you very much, yet and still. I love you, family. Those of you who send me stories, thank you. But when I saw the headline, I said, here we go again. Another buck-dancing African leader. Now, I know they weren't the buck-dancers. We did all of that over here. <laughs> we were the buck-dancers, but... Huh, come to think about it, our people dance for the for um these other nations too. The people in Africa. Yeah, y'all dancing too. You may not call it buck dancing, but you're doing other dances when they when Ivanka set her foot on the soil, when Melania set her foot on the soil, you all did a did a dance for them. So buck dancing all around the world, worldwide black folk are buck dancing for those who continue to tell us time and time again that they can't stand us. Okay, family, I'm out of here. Love you all and shalom.